hello hello and a very warm welcome to yet another special episode of 50 greatest olympic moments for india presented by sports lumo my name is siddharth vishwanathan and i'm the editor in chief of sports lumo in this special episode i am going to talk about the grit and resurgence of indian hockey in the modern era expectations were at a bare minimum it was a mighty fall from grace for a side that had dominated hockey right from its inception in 1928 till 1964. When hockey shifted to the synthetic turfs in the late 70s, the decline of Indian hockey started. 1980 Moscow Olympics was our last gold medal in hockey. From 1984 onwards, there was only pain and nothing but pain for Indian hockey. No medals in 1984, no medals in 1988, 1992, 1996, 2000, 2004. Indian hockey touched the ultimate low point in their history when for the first time they failed to qualify for the Olympics in 2008 Beijing. India did come back in 2012 but again their performance was poor. In 2016, expectations were very low. The team had a mixture of youth and experience. There was P.R. Srijesh, there was Rupinder Pal Singh. There were several other youngsters and experienced veterans who had shown their skills in hockey at that time. But this is very important folks. Indian hockey was trying to come back from the disaster of 2008 when they failed to qualify. We expected the Indian hockey team to put up a bit of a fight. What they did in Rio 2016 kind of repaid the faith for a lot of diehard hockey fans. They showed grit. They did not give up that easily. But at the end of the day, they were a couple of matches away from securing a potential medal. Alas, it was not meant to be. But at least Indian hockey had shown that there was still a little bit of that old flame that had sustained their dominance. In this episode of 50 Greatest Olympic Moments for India, I will be talking about the kind of achievement that the Indian hockey team achieved against all the odds in Rio 2016 Olympics. India were placed in a very tough group that included Germany, Netherlands and Argentina. These three sides were the top hockey sides in the world. Argentina did not know it, but 2016 Rio would be something special for them. India faced off against Ireland in their first game and it was a very nervy and tense affair. They had to scrap and they had to fight real hard to ensure that the Irish were kept at bay. India won the match 3-2, but it was far, far from convincing. In fact, the doubters only increased. Would India be even able to qualify for the quarterfinals? That was the question being asked. India did suffer a big jolt when they lost 2-1 to Germany. Many people felt that the campaign was over at that point in time. But the Indian team staged a remarkable comeback when they defeated Argentina 2-1. That win ensured that India had plenty of confidence heading into the tournament. Argentina were a really strong team, but India winning against them proved to be a big, big boost. The whole group was now thrown wide open. But India, they were in danger of throwing it all away. In the game against Canada, they almost floundered. But they somehow held on to their 2-2 deficit. The 2-2 scoreline was very crucial. It had given them that necessary point to ensure that they would all but seal their spot in the quarterfinals. The loss against the Netherlands did not help the mood either. But other results went their way and India successfully managed to reach the quarterfinals after a long gap. Finally, there was a sense of relief. Past Indian teams in 2012 and 2004 
2000 and 1996 and even 1992 did not even get to the knockout stages. Here, India had a genuine chance. But their journey was not going to be easy as they faced Belgium in the quarterfinals. Was a miracle done? Did India hockey once again regain their lost glory? It was about to be found out on that fateful day. Heading into the quarterfinal against Belgium, the Indian hockey team held on to a few positives from their group stages. They had beaten Argentina. They had pushed Germany close. They had held the Netherlands at bay for 30 minutes. They did fight against the Netherlands and that gave them plenty of confidence. But in the quarterfinal, big game pressure and against a well-oiled and efficient Belgium side, India lost 1-3. It was a premature end to a campaign, but Indian public at that time, you must understand, they did not have that much of expectations from Indian hockey. But the Indian public did not come down very hard on the side. They understood that, yes, after a very long time, India at least reached the knockout stages. Some new stars were, for, were born at that time. P.R. Srijesh established himself as a very competent keeper. Rupinder Pal Singh emerged as one of the best in the business at that time. Big game pressure haunted India at that time. But they had at least defied the odds and given the Indian fans something to cheer about. At least clutch at straws. Belgium would go to the final where they would face Argentina. Argentina, in a historic first, secured the gold medal in front of Brazilian fans. Yet again, Argentina rubbing salt into the wounds of Brazilians. India, on the other hand, faced plenty of heartbreak even after the Olympics. Be it against Australia in the Sultan Aslan Shah, be it a sudden death elimination in the Asian Games against Malaysia in 2018. One thing was certain, Indian hockey was now slowly regaining its lost glory. But it is very important to understand that in the tough times from the 80s for close to three decades, Indian hockey was struggling. It was heartening to see them bounce back slightly in 2016 Rio. That is all from me in this special episode, folks. We will be back with more special anecdotes from India's 50 greatest Olympic moments. Press the subscribe button, tap the bell icon, like, comment and share folks. You will get all the information that you want from the Olympics from Sportslumo's YouTube channel as well as Sportslumo.com. Spread the love. In the upcoming episodes, there will be more anecdotes where India were on the cusp of glory but they somehow failed to go across the line. Thank you for watching this episode.